Hey, I'm Ryan, Marketing Communications Manager for Personas, and I was recently tasked with recording James McCann for my second River City session. This session was a nice reminder in getting back to basics and taking a little bit more of an old-fashioned approach. And by that, I mean choosing to do no edits in post and instead working directly from really well-rehearsed material. Back in the pre-digital era, tape was expensive, so it behooved a recording artist to show up on time with their stuff well-rehearsed. Top secret? It still does. The digital era, where disk space is cheap, has understandably changed our attitudes towards recording time, for better or for worse. We had a single vocal and a single guitar, and they both ran straight into a quantum interface and right into Studio One. Uh, we had no false starts, we did it in a single take, and I think we spent more time exchanging pleasantries and saying hello to James than we did actually tracking the song. And you know why? Because the guy showed up on time with his guitar tuned, with his voice warmed up, with his material well rehearsed. And so as a result, there are no alternate vocal takes, there's no vocal comping, there's no edits, there's no pitch correction, there's no melodyne. And aside from the reverb, the final recording is in good old fashioned mono. Nothing wrong with that. For the guitar, I chose a Personas PM2 and pointed it at the 12th fret of the guitar. Uh, it's a common misstep to point the microphone directly at the sound hole of the guitar. I understand why people would do that. But it can create this kind of boomy, dull sound, which it's okay if what you're going for, but that wasn't for us, it wasn't for James. Pointing it at the 12th fret allows us to get some of the low end out of the sound hole of the guitar, as well as some of the string and finger noise from the neck side. Worth noting here is that the PM2 is a remarkably sensitive microphone. All the crickets you hear in the background of this recording were picked up on the PM2. For vocals, I selected the Presonus PD70 because it's the hot new mic we're trying to sell right now, but also because it's not like the PM2 in that it rejects sound sources that are further away. The PD70 did not pick up the crickets and barely heard the guitar, meaning I had nothing but voice to work with on my vocal channel, so the gentle low mid-range bump I applied to his vocals didn't affect the guitar sound, or the crickets. In Studio One, I applied a simple reverb to the vocal track and a gentle multi-band compression to the master bus. We kept things simple, everyone had a good time, and now we've got this really satisfying moment captured forever. While we pride ourselves on innovation at Personas, there really isn't any rule that says you have to use every single innovation on every single track of every single song. Sometimes it's nice to just keep things simple. So that's it. I think it took more time to produce this interview than it did to actually record and mix James McCann. Uh, big thanks to him for doing such an incredible job and making mine easy. Please like, please subscribe. If there's anything we didn't address in the video, that's what the comment section is for.